let's get right into it. Number 10. Copy or move. Step into a teleporter. The machine scans your entire body, recording the position of every single atom. Then it breaks you down completely and sends that information to another machine far away. That machine builds a perfect copy of you, with all your memories, thoughts, and personality intact. But here's the mind-bending question. Was the original you destroyed in the process? The you that stepped into the machine ceased to exist. The person who walks out the other end is an exact copy. But are they really you? They have all your memories, including the memory of stepping into the teleporter. To them, it feels like they just moved from one place to another. But what happened to the original consciousness? It's like making a perfect clone of yourself, then disappearing. The clone would think they're you, act like you, have all your memories. But would they actually be you? Some scientists say it doesn't matter. If the copy is perfect, then it's effectively the same person. Others argue that consciousness can't be copied. What if the teleporter malfunctioned and made the copy without destroying the original? Now there would be two yous, both equally convinced they're the real one. Both would have the exact same memories up until that moment, but they can't both be you, right? Or maybe they both are. Scientists still debate whether teleportation would move you or murder you. We won't know until someone's brave enough to step inside. Number 9. The Ancestor Paradox You hop into a time machine and accidentally stop your great-grandparents from meeting each other. If they never meet, they never have kids. Their kids never have kids. Your grandparents are never born. Your parents are never born. You're never born. But if you're never born, how did you go back in time to stop them from meeting in the first place? The explanations for this get seriously weird. Some say time is like a movie reel. Everything that's going to happen has already happened. If you travel back in time, whatever you do was already part of history. You're an actor in a movie that's already been filmed. You just don't know the script yet. Others think there might be parallel universes. When you go back and mess with your family tree, you're creating a new branch of reality. Like opening a new tab in your browser, instead of changing the one you're already on. Then there's the weird idea that the universe has built-in paradox protection. If you tried to stop your great-grandparents from meeting, you'd trip and fall, get stuck in traffic, accidentally push them closer together. The universe becomes the ultimate matchmaker making sure your ancestors hook up no matter what you do. Time protects itself, even from you. Number 8. The Bootstrap Paradox Picture this. You're a time traveler who loves classical music. You go back in time to meet a famous composer from the 1800s. You bring their most famous piece of music to get it signed. But when you arrive, the composer has never heard of this piece. They haven't written any music yet, so you show them the sheet music. They love it so much, they decide to perform and publish it. Years pass and this piece becomes their most famous work, the same piece that originally inspired you to visit them. So, who actually created the music? The piece exists in a perfect loop, with no beginning and no end, like a snake eating its own tail. The composer didn't write it originally, they copied it from you, but you didn't write it either, you got it from them. The music just exists, it came from nowhere and everywhere at the same time. Scientists can't explain how something could exist without ever being created, it breaks our understanding of cause and effect. Information with no origin point, trapped in an endless time loop. Number 7. Life's Mirror Image Problem Molecules come in two forms, like your left and right hands. They look the same but are mirror images of each other. Life on Earth only uses left-handed amino acids and right-handed sugars. It's like nature went shopping and said, we're only buying left-handed stuff today. Scientists are still trying to figure out why. Some think space rocks might have brought lefty molecules. Others believe sunlight filtered through space dust played favorites. The mind-bending part is that alien life might use the opposite hands. Meeting aliens who can only eat right-handed proteins would be wild. They'd look at your Earth food and say, Sorry, this is all wrong-handed for us. So next time you're making a sandwich, remember. You're using ingredients that won a cosmic coin flip billions of years ago. Somewhere in the universe, mirror image life forms might exist running on chemistry that's backwards to ours. Number 6. Pato's Cancer Paradox Blue whales, the biggest animals ever, have about 10,000 times more cells than humans. That means they should have 10,000 times more chances for cells to go wrong and turn cancerous. But here's the wild part. They almost never get cancer. It's like buying millions of lottery tickets but somehow never hitting a single losing number. Scientists discovered these giant animals have developed super-powered cell repair abilities. Their cells are like obsessive mechanics, fixing problems before they even start. 
While our cells might wait before repairing damage, whale cells respond immediately. They've got special proteins that make their repair system work better than ours. Their cells also divide more slowly than ours. Think of two factories, one rushing to make products quickly and another taking its time to ensure everything's perfect. Whale cells are like that second factory, slow and careful, making fewer mistakes. Scientists are racing to figure out how whales do it because we might be able to copy their tricks. Nature's been running a billion-year experiment, and the results could save millions of lives. Number 5. The Black Hole Data Heist Black holes are nature's most mysterious vault breakers. These cosmic thieves don't just steal stuff. They make it vanish without a trace. Physics has a golden rule. Information can't be destroyed, but black holes seem to break this rule. When stuff falls into a black hole, it's supposed to be gone forever. No receipt, no return policy, no evidence it ever existed. Then Stephen Hawking discovered something incredible. Black holes actually leak tiny bits of radiation. This radiation, called Hawking radiation, means black holes slowly evaporate over time. But here's the mind bender. When the radiation comes out, it's completely scrambled. Picture throwing your laptop into a black hole. All the information should be preserved somehow. But when the black hole spits out radiation, it's like getting back a pile of random static. Scientists have come up with some wild theories to explain this. Some think the information might be stored on the surface of the black hole, like a cosmic hard drive. Others suggest there might be tiny quantum islands near the edge holding on to the data. But so far, nobody knows for sure. The universe is perfect heist, and we still haven't cracked the case. Number 4. Erasing the past with light. Fire a tiny particle of light at a wall with two slits. When no one's watching, this particle does something impossible. It goes through both slits at once, like a wave. But if you try to catch it in the act by measuring which slit it went through, it suddenly picks just one path. Scientists created pairs of connected light particles where whatever happens to one instantly affects the other. One particle heads toward the slits while its partner goes on a different path. And this is where reality starts to glitch. If you measure the second particle after the first one has already finished its journey, you can somehow change what the first particle did in the past. It's like deciding today what sandwich you ate yesterday. The measurement you make right now reaches back in time and alters what already happened. If you choose not to measure the second particle, the first one goes back to acting like it went through both slits. Scientists have scaled this up to cosmic levels. Theoretically, a measurement made today could affect how a particle behaved billions of years ago. The past isn't as permanent as you think. Number 3. The Universe's Impossible Balance Our entire cosmos is balanced in a way that's so precise, it makes brain surgeons look sloppy. Scientists have found that our universe is incredibly flat. And by flat, they don't mean like a pancake. They mean it follows the same geometry rules you learned in school. In the first seconds after the Big Bang, the universe had to be flat to within one part in a quadrillion. That's like throwing a dart from Earth and hitting a specific atom on the moon. If it had curved even slightly more, everything would have collapsed. If it had curved slightly less, everything would have spread out so fast that no stars or galaxies could form. On top of that, the temperature across the entire observable universe is basically the same everywhere. We're talking about regions so far apart that light itself hasn't had time to travel between them since the beginning of time. It's like two people on opposite sides of Earth somehow ordering the exact same meal at the exact same time without ever talking to each other. These regions are so far apart, they should have never been able to talk to each other or share heat. Scientists tried to explain this with something called inflation, where the early universe expanded faster than light itself. But even this explanation leaves scientists scratching their heads because it would need to be perfectly timed and tuned. We exist because the universe threaded an impossible needle at the moment of its birth. Number 2. The Problem of Experience You're watching the most beautiful sunset you've ever seen. Your eyes detect light waves. Your brain processes them. Neurons fire in sequence. But here's the mystery. Why do you actually feel anything? Scientists can map every single thing happening in your brain when you look at that sunset. They can track each neuron firing, measure every chemical reaction, and plot all the electrical signals. But none of that explains why you have a personal experience of the moment. It's like having a perfect diagram of a fire that shows every spark and flame. But the diagram can't capture what it actually feels like to sit by that fire. Some scientists think tiny quantum effects in our brains might create consciousness. They suggest microscopic structures called microtubules could host quantum processes that spark awareness. 
But even if that's true, we still can't explain why these processes create subjective experiences. Think about tasting your favorite ice cream flavor. Scientists can explain exactly which taste buds activate and which brain regions light up, but they can't explain why you have a personal experience of deliciousness. This is the hard problem of consciousness, and we're nowhere close to solving it. Number 1. The arrow of time. Drop an egg on the floor. It shatters into pieces. The yolk spreads everywhere. Now picture that mess spontaneously reassembling itself. According to the basic laws of physics, this should be totally possible. The mathematical equations that describe how particles move and interact work perfectly fine whether you run time forwards or backwards. But in our real world, we never see broken eggs reassemble themselves. We never see spilled coffee jump back into cups. This one-way flow of events is called the arrow of time. Scientists think it has something to do with entropy, basically how messy or disordered things are. Think of it like your bedroom. It naturally gets messier over time unless you clean it. The universe started in an incredibly neat and organized state during the Big Bang. Since then, it's been getting messier and messier. Here's where it gets really mind-bending. At the tiny scale of atoms and particles, things can actually go backwards in time. Recent experiments have shown that in the quantum realm, time can flow both ways. But in our everyday world of eggs and coffee cups, time stubbornly marches forward. Why the universe insists on one direction remains one of physics' deepest mysteries. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.